Georgia Tech football recruit Bryce Gowdy was expected to move to Atlanta this weekend and start classes on Monday. But Gowdy, a four-star football recruit, died earlier this week after he was hit by a train in Florida. The medical examiner has now ruled his death as suicide. And Joe Hankey talked with Gowdy's uncle today about the stress that this young potential student athlete lived after his family became homeless. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeff, Bryce Gowdy's uncle talked with me by phone today from Florida. He said Bryce had packed his bags to move to Georgia Tech, and his packed bags are still sitting at his uncle's home. And while Bryce was excited to play college football, he says the teen was stressed and feeling the need to support his mother and two younger brothers. Well, as a youngin', he was kind of forced to be an adult. Uh, his father was in and out of his life because of, you know, decision making. Thomas Gowdy says his nephew Bryce Gowdy thought of himself as a father figure to his younger brothers, and he did what he could to take care of them. Every summer he either came and worked with me, or he worked with my father and I with our family business to, to get extra money to help feed the family. In the past six months, though, Bryce's uncle says financial problems set in, leaving Bryce, his mom, and brothers homeless. My aunt, my dad, and I was the main ones like helping them financially. Uh, they were bouncing from hotel to hotel room. Uh, I had just fed them days ago because he came to me saying they had to move again. Bryce played high school football in Deerfield Beach, Florida, and committed to playing at Georgia Tech after being recruited by head coach Jeff Collins' program. What do you love about Bryce Gowdy? Uh, when you watch turn on the tape, I mean, he's just making plays all over the place. Great size, great speed, great athleticism. On Sunday, a day before his death, Gowdy tweeted a picture saying family matters. Can't wait to get to the ATL soon. He was very excited to meet his new Georgia Tech family. I mean, he was happy. Bryce's uncle says his nephew, though, struggled with the stress of moving away from his mom and brothers. And we were basically motivating him and letting him know, like, you know, you're going to be okay. You don't have to worry about your brothers because once you step through that door on campus, your life will change. As a Division I student athlete, Bryce knew he would have a place to live and food to eat, but his family did not have the same promise. He knew he was going to be all right. It, his worry wasn't him. It was his brother's. And in a statement on Monday, Georgia Tech's head football coach said his team is devastated and they are offering their condolences to Bryce Gowdy's family. We also talked with the Georgia Tech Athletic Association today. They deferred any questions about Gowdy's family and their status of being homeless to the NCAA. A vigil is planned for tonight at Gowdy's High School in Florida. Wow. All right, Joe, thanks. Okay. Georgia Tech's social media pages have been putting out messages of support, and a GoFundMe for his family has now exceeded $50,000. It's closer to $70,000 above that now. People are sharing their condolences on our 11 Alive Facebook page. You can add yours there. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of ending their life, please, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. There is somebody there to help 24 hours a day. It is free. Just call the number on your screen. We also have this for you online.